Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day it may be for you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Layback Gamer, and we're back with another video. I'm not sure what it is, but it is bound to be, hopefully, a very exciting one. So yeah, we're back. And, well, you read the title, so you know exactly what we we're going to be doing. So, if you like the video, leave a like. Maybe even consider subscribing if you really like the video. Ooh, that'd be very nice if you did. And, well, yeah. So sit, so go on, grab some food and a beverage. Maybe not one that's that fancy. Sit back and enjoy the show. I don't think that's... Okay, here we go. So, now we unlock a couple different types of... I guess this is... is Sort of tutorial? No, this is actually outside the tutorial. So we got the base tutorial from these guys here. And now we got... Uh, the wit we have to win the store. So first off, just to beat the mission, we get four... As you can see, we actually get four infantry from this. To There's a couple story challenges here, which is trample five enemy infantry. We get five, two parts and an infantry. Defend the Jefferson statue. Two parts and infantry, and New Game Plus would give us two infantry. By the way, that is the Jefferson statue. So, we're going to create a deck. Now, right now, we don't have a whole lot, so we're just going to... throw everything in the kitchen sink together. So, we'll save that. Um, yeah, we'll go with this. Keep that name for now. Although, just to, just to sort of go through this, so... When creating decks for this game... You get a limit of 20 cards, and they just got gets your statistics for how much uh, for how much infantry, ironclads, parts, and tactics you got in your deck. There's a maximum of two factions allowed in the game because there are multiple factions. And this is the uh I guess the north and slash south faction. Not that it really matters at all. This doesn't actually matter throughout the whole game. This little divide here does. That doesn't really matter. It doesn't play much into it. All it means is that the enemy is also going to be using them too. However, we do have a total of eight factions in the game. Most of which we'll be seeing in this... Well, two of them we won't be seeing in this campaign. Which is the two specific ones from Blood and Ironclads. And another one is in... Well, we will see it in this game. But we will see it here. Anyways, let's go ahead... Good to go, use that, and let's start this up. Everybody's having a nice time. Then they hear the clack, the moving of ironclads outside. What is it, Joe? Hear that, and kaboom. What the heck? It's coming from outside. They both run out. Is this a demonstration? Oh, this is exciting. I need a bit of water. I'm not going to be talking a lot. i got to keep the throat... Uh, hydrated. This wasn't on the schedule. It's an attack. Quick, let's get to the let's get the, the ironclads, and they're attacking. These are Confederate ironclads. All right, Defe defeat the conf the Confederators by breaking through and getting past their forces. And here is a scout. We're gonna go ahead and deploy an ironclad here. Now we need to trample a few in those guys. Alright, so I'm just gonna... There we go. Alright. Oh, uh, Well, I'm not gonna be able to defend that statue, unfortunately. That's just not possible. They got lucky on that one. So we'll have to come back at a bit of a later time. And get to beat that. I just wait on this. Here we go. Alright, so we'll pause you there. I need to keep this field repair with me. And we'll use it to fix you up. Alright, or maybe not. Go. So, whenever you score a victory point... You get a, uh, a, your opponent, I believe, gets additional AP. So we'll deploy you 
here. Go. Oh, now they step up. And we flatten black that one. We'll pause you there for now. I will play you. Go. Nice. I should have maneuvered. Alright, keep it going. Throw a field repair on you. I don't want to win this until I can trample. There we go. Alrighty, we got all we got them all. Very nice. And trample for death. That's a lot of blood for trampling them. There's two points, we just need to get both of these to the very end. Over you down here. Over you down to here. Go ahead and... It's kind of meaningless at this point. We've already won. We got the one point there. By the way, if we want, we could spend an action point to maneuver it to move the, this card all the way to the beginning and prevent it, us from losing it. Alright, there we go. Got that. The place is now a bit of a burning wreck. Now you suddenly recover from that. Like, oh, I don't feel so good, but now you look all spiffed up. Uh, Joe, are you okay? I'm alive. Or where well, that's war. Okay, now, now not so much. Zeblon. I'm afraid it's true. We're officially at war. They had ironclads. I know. That makes us all, all the more urgent. Our army is rallying now. They're going to Charleston with Colonel Crane. I have to find out what happened. This is a travesty. Later that evening. Colonel? Yes, I'm Colonel Crane. We'll talk more later. Right now, we need to leave right now. Then all the ironclads are going out. That's a lot of ironclads. Where's all the coal for them? By the way, it did, they didn't actually mention this, but they were originally ran on. The first guys were ran on coal. However, now, didn't you read a memo about switch to Belgian anthracite? On, let's go. Resting. What do you know about this Belgian and anthracite? Only it was Zelvian's memo. In Zelvian's memo. But some type of coal with a higher energy density. I never saw the design changes. Don't you find that odd? Do you find that odd? Not really. The ironclads could run on anything. Zelvian knows what he's doing. And from this we get scouts and riflemen. Probably should have... Uh, we also get Zelvian's Cat, which gives plus one speed to Ironclads. We have Riflemen. Blank as a skate, green as grass, eager as... I don't think I could say that for you two. They have two health and one damage. It only costs three. Alright, we're actually going to play this again because we need to defend that statue. Alright, let's do this. By the way, I don't think anything bad happens if these guys get to the very end. From what I, re if I remember, granted, we can always uh, check out the scout info. And goodbye. Those are always just so brutal. Oh wait, these guys. Oh, these guys only cost one. That's nice. All right, to keep the proverbial factory line of these going. All right, now just pause you there because I don't want you to move off the edge of the map. Boy, the next ironclad behind them. I'm going to issue a field repair. There we go. All right, switch you to the top lane. And keep going. By the way, ironclads cannot trample other ironclads. For the record. 
gonna keep it. I'll pause there. That's fine. We just need to kill you. And by the way, we can't actually pause on spawning tiles. That was a nice thing, but for the devs, to sort of prevent any cheesing. Otherwise, you'd be very cheap. You could just have a few of these guys just stand here and while you build up, and your opponent could do virtually nothing to stop you. We can deploy this guy here, and he can't do anything about it. So we're, we can block our own tiles and keep ourselves safe, but they can't block ours to prevent us from spawning. Oh, blocked me. Ooh, they got the rifled musket. I didn't think we'd see one of those. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright. Carbine musket complete, and we unlock the rifle musket. I'm sure you saw... Okay, so first off, there's the cat. Scouts. Okay, they only move two. Those who move quick can turn the tide of battle. Uh, they, currently, they don't really have a use. There are going to be some missions where we need to capture certain points, and then they'll have a good use, but eh, normally these guys got nothing. And by the way, you know, we get a maximum of four of everything. You know, we can have no more than four cards, and we can no, to put, put no more than four cards into our decks. You may have noticed that we only got three riflemen from this and only three scouts. The last two remaining guys in here is another Rifleman and another Scout. Admittedly, these guys aren't very useful. We are going to be using the Rifleman because they are go they can upgrade into something that's going to be more useful. Uh, let's see here. So, Carbine Musket, a shorter barrel, makes this musket ideal for close combat. Rifled Musket, which also has an object... A Upgrade point to attack 30 times. It was far simpler to create a self-loading ironclad musket than a musket-loading ironclad. I would agree. So we'll take those. And we're going to edit this deck down. So I'm going to take a couple of these down. Oh, here we go. No, Joseph, this is the future. Delvian Wright. And the light chassis reads, Model 1860 Light Ironclad was the most widely used ironclad for the entire conflict. I would agree with that. And here, well, we already read that. Read this one, so I'm going to take two of those out and instead put two of those. By the way, you have to have 20 cards in this. You can't go... You have to go exactly 20. You can't have too few or too, too many. So we're going to attack... Throughout the campaign, we're going to be upgrading these, although these guys we're going to upgrade quickly. And we also unlocked another faction type, which is known as, I believe this is the Experimental, if I recall correct. So this is Experimental. And you can also tell by the background, too, of some of these. So parts for, not for the uh, American, I guess we could just call it American is uh, this nice background here. Experimental has this brick background. They also have a forest background as well for their parts. And then this has no... This is actually a unique one because it has no faction. So you could theoretically put this in every deck. And if you, by the way, you want to highlight this, you could do that. So we could also read the abilities. Tramples infantry. Like all ironclads, this unit can step on infantry to destroy them, but it cannot equip parts. This one marches... Ah, so this one has the trample infantry, and it's also upgradable, as you can see there. Match the it marches this unit off your opponent's side of the board 20 times in order to unlock a new card. Where to get that? Upgradable. This one, these are upgradable. This one has, if this one is, infantry is unique from Ironclad. You want to make sure you have a few infantry along, because as you can see there, like all infantry, this unit can ca captures flags and activates mortars when moving over them. We'll get to those later on. At speed 2, this unit moves two spaces during when advancing. In addition to moving faster, units with faster speed begin moving earlier than units with slow. So, we saw in the battle, the scouts started moving before our ironclads did. Because our ironclad only has a speed of 1, this actually has a speed of 2. Is there anything here? Uh, yes, yeah, just that. And we got this. 
So this is a part, can be equipped to the head slot of any one of our ironclads. This one, I do, cannot get any parts on it. And then our normal ironclads have a, have a slot for an arm there and a head. I think they got all, that might be the only attachments they get if I recall. All right, so let's go ahead and start this mission up. Oh, whoops, uh, I've already beat this, so uh, just end that. Ah. Okay, I think I'm gonna, well, this has been a nice half an hour, so I'm gonna insert pause here. So we're not aiming to protect anything in this one. So let's just go with it. Oh, we already blasted the head off of this thing. Got this, the Zouave. Look at these pants. I don't want to go auxiliary. No, we're going to you wait a turn. And we'll have you wait. Good news, you're going to die. What's going on? Alright, I was gonna field repair him, but I think I'm not going now. <clears throat> Alright. Why are you oh you're pausing to kill the statue. Didn't actually have to do that, that's just BM. Oh, look at these tactics. Look at these tactics. Alright, I'm going to save up for our armored chassis. I'll just pause you there for now. I need another Max's trumpet. There we go. Need to get you up a little bit further. Alright, you could move on your part. We'll pause you here for now. I'll go here, or where do I want to go with you? Actually, up. Right here. There we go. Have you pause there for now? Ah, cavalry saber. How annoying. Alright, we'll switch over to the trumpet in just a second. Actually, just keep him there. He's actually holding these guys at stalemate. I don't need to do anything. Just deploy an auxiliary chassis behind him. A second auxiliary chassis behind him. This one has a range of five, so one, one, two, three, four, five. So if I equip this onto him, he'll kill this guy. I'm gonna actually have him do that, except when he gets a little bit more into range. Alright, there we go. Now we'll be able to hold this line off, or this lane off. Now we'll let him go up by one. Good. We'll kill this guy off. Move here. He'll move here. Yo, pause you. 
Still need another guy back here in order to guarantee that the that these guys can't kill us. Alright, there we go. Solid. Pause you there. You get. Oh, guys on pause. You put another one right there. I just need to get one more clad out, and then we're good. He's gonna deploy. What's he gonna put on him? Not sure just yet. A cavalry saber. Alright, that that's gonna be a problem. Need to save up twice and then get an extra. There we go. Oh crud, he's gonna actually go for the kill on this on this guy. I gotta move him up by gonna move this one up by one. Just in case. Nope. Are we good? No, we got a field repair. Ouch. Alright, now full steam ahead. For the win. They stopped me? No, they didn't stop me. Alright, we got this. We got him. All we gotta do is beat this in New Game Plus and then we win. We get all the cards in this tile, which is great, because I want all the cards here. Done and dusted. Alright, so we get a scout and a rifleman, which means we also get an extra veteran and an extra Zulav. Very nice. Alright. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. And also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only, I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I think. Cap, uh, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of a collection of games that I've done. And if you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.